How to treat a dry socket. If you've recently had a tooth or teeth removed, you may develop one or more dry sockets, alveolar osteitis. A dry socket occurs when the blood clot from the site is lost too soon, and the bone, as well as some sensitive nerve endings, become exposed and are vulnerable to oral bacteria and other stimuli. The alveolar bone suffers and fights to create a new protective membrane, which takes about four days. This can lead to infection, pain, and inflammation usually two to three days after a tooth has been removed. Although dry sockets are a self-limiting condition, they can be quite painful and intense. Knowing how to treat a dry socket may help you limit the pain and speed up the recovery time of this condition. 1. Identify the symptoms. Dry socket has some common symptoms that may help you to determine if that is the problem. The most common symptoms of dry socket are severe pain, especially radiating from the site of tooth extraction out across the side of your face. The pain is intense and you have to manage it continually. Visibly empty appearance at the site of tooth extraction and the entire area will have a gray color compared to the usual purple, red, white, or yellow which indicates good healing. Visible bone in the open wound on your gums, swollen lymph nodes in the jaw and or neck, fever, foul taste or odor in the mouth. 2. Know who is at risk. While a dry socket may develop in anyone's mouth following a dental surgery, certain risk factors such as tobacco use, estrogen-based oral contraceptives, and use of corticosteroids or very bad oral hygiene and not following the instructions of your dentist may increase the chances of developing a dry socket. 3. See a doctor or a dentist. If you suspect that you've developed a dry socket following a dental surgery or tooth extraction, Contact your dentist or doctor immediately. 4. Take pain relievers. Though pain medication will not help the wound heal or prevent infection, it will help you manage the pain associated with a dry socket. Your doctor may recommend a prescription strength pain medication, or you may wish to stick with over-the-counter medications like aspirin or acetaminophen. Do not give aspirin to children or adolescents. Use of aspirin in children or teenagers may cause complications with the liver and brain. Consult with your child's pediatrician for guidance on what medication would work best for your child. Don't exceed the dosage with ibuprofen either because this can lead to severe stomach or intestinal bleeding. 5. Use ice or a cold compress on the side of your face experiencing pain. Use cold packs only for the first 48 hours. Fill a sandwich bag with ice cubes, or wrap ice cubes in a clean towel. In a pinch, you can also use a bag of frozen vegetables wrapped in a paper towel. Apply to the affected side of the face. Remove the bag if it starts to feel like it is burning your skin or you may damage your skin. Keep the ice pack on for 20 minutes, then off for 20 minutes. After two days you should switch to using a warm compress, as a cold compress will no longer reduce swelling or inflammation. After the first 48 hours. 6. Stay hydrated. Drinking clear liquids, especially water at room temperature, is crucial following any surgical procedure. Avoid alcohol after any surgery. Water at room temperature is the best beverage to stay hydrated. If you like, you may wish to alternate water with a sugar-free sports drink.